Yeah, that's true. I feel like Harada. I feel like Harada and, and Michael Murray do a good job. I I'm gonna say this. I hate Michael Murray for the sole fact that he put tracking health sleeps. Take my glasses off for this one. This man put tracking health sweeps on Mishima's that track with electrics. Imagine trying to step. It gives me a headache thinking about it too right now. Imagine trying to step Mishima's. The one, the one defensive tactic that we had to ourselves, right? This is how it used to be Mishima's all the time. Step left, step to the right, step either which way, usually step to the left, depending on which character you're playing, step up right for Mishima's. And it's up left for like Jen and Kazumi, right? We can't do that because they had tracking health sweeps. They still have tracking on their health sweeps. Don't get me wrong. So that's some type of tracking. But damn, on double Jen, and this man went untouched in season four after this patch. What the fuck was that? Really? Tracking health sweeps because some other characters had it? You wanted to give tracking health sweeps to double Jen. Who remains top tier every fucking game every last tekken since he's been in the game from tekken 5 to tekken 7 he has been top tier in every game and you wanted to give him tracking house sweeps really someone you can clip that shit and send it to michael murray because i am pissed with that shit i lost my cool and I really lost the, the will to play Tekken after I saw that shit. What the fuck? I, I'm just saying. It's awful. Lot. I'm telling you. Yep. If it's uh, exactly good point. Down four two. All right. Let's talk about this real quick. I think we're good with Lydia. I'm gonna give my opinion on Lydia at the end of the stream. All right. But let's go into this real quick. Let's have a whole conversation about Tekken real quick. All right. Paul is down four two. Right. Actually, he's right here. We can just use him right here. Right. Paul's down 4-2, right? That has the range of a motherfucker sometimes, right? Look at that shit. Right? That is almost like range 2, right? This shit just purely launches. And this shit is the... Uh, this shit's annoying. Trying to play against Paul when he has rage, right? Trying to kill him, right? Imagine whiffing a move. You barely just whiffed. Like, you barely missed him. Just a tad bit, right? This down 4-2 is clipping you. You're dead. You lost your whole entire life, bro. You lost the whole entire game. You lost the whole entire tournament. You could have got second place yourself. Because I'm a down 4-2 that just launches purely. And just get rage. You lost up from a down 4-2, right? Now, this shit doesn't launch crouches or whatever, right? But this shit is just too good. For no reason. Right? Now, it's safe at that. But this shit kills. He stays alive for doing down 4-2. You die for getting hit from down 4-2. What kind of shit is that? You lose for trying to... I can't even at all. I'm gonna get into a rant, guys. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. You don't want me to go into a rant. Let's see, me and Souls, who's in here right now, right? Also Souls. Well, as a player, I feel bad for this motherfucker because this man has to deal with getting shitted on from Eliza getting nerfed like half the time, right? Me and him will sit here for hours and hours talking about this shit. We will rant on and on about the dumb shit they do in Tekken. And I love this game. Don't get me wrong. I love Tekken 7. I love the game. I love the, you know, the meta behind it. It's fun. It's offensive. Okay, cool. But this shit gets way too easy sometimes. It's too easy to do shit. Way too easy. It's way too easy. And they just allow this shit to happen. With no regrets whatsoever. No regrets. And I wonder why. They do this shit. And I know there's newcomers to this game. I understand that. They want to get new. They want to give newcomers something to play. Something to use. I, I like that they added frame data. I'm, I don't know why I paid $4 for this shit. Should have been in the game. But, you know, old school Tekken players figure out the shit for themselves. Uh, they put frame data in the game. Cool. Okay, great. Uh, but then they give characters down four twos that are safe. And I die from it. And for trying to play Tekken. That shit's unbelievable. Why Why am I working hard to do something with King, right? Now, King can be brain dead. I admit it. I've never admitted that before. King can be brain dead. Don't get me wrong. You can do some stupid ass shit with, with King and get away with it, no matter what happens, right? Just if you don't know the matchup. Somebody knows the matchup. Okay, it's a different story. But you can get away with some, with some shit with King, right? 
Hey, what's going on? Zero gravity. My man Marsh. Uh, you can get away with king shit, right? But here's the thing. With king, you get rid of his grabs. You're not a brick grabs. You guess right majority of the time. You won't lose your life bar as much, right? I'm working hard to get those grabs because you can break them. Now I have to mix you up and try to find a different, you know, situational type of thing where I can catch you with a giant swing or make you forget about it or some shit like that, right? But hear me out real quick. What if I'm playing Safina against a king player and they're trying to do 4 4 1 or any move that catches you from a certain range, trying to get a counter here or something like that, right? And I'm playing Safina and I just backdash. I lost. I already lost the whole entire game because this character just backdashes and only does one backdash, right? Last night, I played against Still Electric, right? I don't know if he's still in here, but he was going wild about this shit, right? This man mains Devil Gen and he plays Safina as well, right? Now, his Devil Gen, I think, is better than his uh, Safina, of course, right? But here's the key I backdash one time to get rid of his down for it one two and he delayed it right the fact that he delayed it made it worse right if he did it immediately i probably would have died for trying to back dash but he did it super late he did down for it one two i back dash one time right one time and he and he lost the whole entire round and I, I he had a life bar to live and he lost the whole entire round off of it because i back dashed one time and that's all it took Now, I was kind of like out of range. Let's see if I can get it. It's kind of, it's kind of, I think he deleted super hard. That's probably why. He deleted kind of hard. And, and I know why he does that shit. The more you delay, the better. Because people want to try to press a button. But I just kind of waited for it to happen. He backdashed. And I backdashed out of it. Then I have a down 4 2. Yeah, Yoshi's down 4 2 and tag 2 was garbage. Holy crap. It was a long turn and everything, but shit was garbage. I don't know how I got that shit really and truly. I don't know if I did a frame perfect or something like that, but like that shit just immediately whiffed. Yep, just like that. There it is. And that man lost his whole entire almost life bar and, and lost a round. And that's all it took. And that shit had me lie. Like, I was just laughing. I was just like, how? Off of just a one backdash, you almost lost. You, you technically lost a round because of one backdash. Now, this game rewards defense if you do it right. But damn. Some just some options are just too good for on certain characters. I think backdashing is so stupid on Safina. If you have a good backdash, I have a good backdash. I practice shit a lot. And the, the amount of spacing you can get, especially if you play Kunimitsu too. If you play Kunimitsu, you can backdash. That shit looks hella ridiculous. I've gotten away for, from so many situations. I don't even play Kunimitsu like that. I really don't particularly like Kunimitsu because a lot of people just mash back two. And that's a, that's all their fucking game plan is, is back two. As soon as you do something back two, uh, I fucking go to the moon back two. You know, no. I go with a girl, they're gonna just back to like, you know, shut like that, right? That's all their game plan is. That's why I hate, that's why I hate Kunimitsu, right? I don't particularly hate her in terms of like me playing her or like the meta of the character or anything like that. I think she's cool, but the people that play her just really suck. And the only good, the only good Kunimitsu players I've played so far is also Souls and Azure. Those are the only two I've played so far that have given me some type of like, you know, some type of problem that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't solve. All the ones online that I play, it's it's too easy it, it's way too easy so if you have a good backdash right look how much space you're getting that's so much space right there a little too much right i can't really do anything if you're like gonna play this type of spacing game i try to come in and do like a 441 and i might miss there's a kunai waiting for me or some dumb shit right 442 you know something you know just something along those lines right that shit's hella dumb. If you master this backdashing shit. That's hella ridiculous. For just backdashing. And this game and then in this game, right? Movement is nerfed, right? 
I think this is like the best game for terms of like backdashing because you don't get caught up either. This is more in tag two. You get you actually got caught up for trying to backdash too much. You actually hella got caught up, right? If you're backdashing a little too much and you, when you shouldn't be, you either get clipped or you actually blocked it. In Tekken, you can still get clipped. Don't get me wrong, but it's more of a tight window now when it comes to backdashing because you're trying to you know if you're doing a, the secret input that I'm doing, which is like uh, back you know back back and then core circle back, which is what I'm doing. You'll get your crouching animation sometimes, right? You'll get clipped. But if you're doing the actual input, you really shouldn't be getting crouched. But you're end up, you're end up getting anyway because you're crouching. But still, this game rewards you for just backing up sometimes, depending on what character that you have. It can be a fairly easy game. Most can just one one and two two, then full crouch mid up. So yeah, I don't really run into those. Every every, every time I run into a Kuni Mitsu, I get rid of this one one string immediately. And then they won't ever do it again. Then they'll run a 2-2. And do a mix-up. Now, I think that's okay. Right? But, back two. Why? Why, why? why not do it? Right? Back two. Back two. Back two. Back two. I'm minus 13. Back two. Wall spots. Back two. <laughs> like, their whole entire defensive option is back two. Like, why? Just back two. That's it. That's their only difference in the game. I, I played one game earlier with Lydia, right? Before I got on the stream, right? I was cooking me some chicken nuggets, right? I love chicken nuggets, by the way. Right? Cooking me some chicken nuggets. I'm like, okay, let me get let me just play some, you know, Lydia ranked to see where I, I go, you know, see if I can rank up to Divine Rule or something like that, right? I ran to Kunimitsu. And every time I did something, back two. <laughs> back two. <laughs> like, why? Like, why is that your only option? You, you know how many options you have playing Kunimitsu? Yeah, set two, set one, set four, set three, whatever, you know, full crouch mix-ups, set set four, 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 two, you know, back one plus two, flip, you know, you have your flip or whatever, you have everything, but your whole entire option, it's back two, <laughs> back two, back two, like, oh my god, dude, oh my god, never understood.